Hey guys, it's Ravi here, and this is Fracky Fit Wolf. It's Sunday, so that means it's time for my official weekly weigh-in. All right, everybody, so it is Sunday. I hope you all had a good week. Um, comment down below. Let me know how your week went. I'm really curious. I get so much support from you guys that I want to try to give my support to you. And so comment down below. Let me be your cheerleader as much as you guys are my cheerleader. I, I, I appreciate everything you guys do for me. Um, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, if I seem a little mellow, um, despite the fact that my roommate's not home so I could actually talk loud, uh, I am in pain. Uh, my back is deciding to have spasms. And it does that. I, I've dealt with this my whole life. Well, not my whole life, but since I was a teenager, I've, I've had this issue. Um, I know the exercises I'm supposed to do. I know the stuff I can do. Ultimately, the only thing that can save it is losing enough weight. That is one of my whys on this journey is to help with the back pain. It is a lot better since yesterday. It's just still not good. <clears throat> um... So it's it's a process. I've got stretches that I've got to do and things like that. And I want to thank you guys again for the support that you've given me this week. I've been all over the board emotion-wise and sharing a little bit more than, I don't know. I feel like it's, I don't know the word, uncouth to be sharing as much as I've shared. Uh, I feel a little embarrassed by it, uh, but... You guys have been super supportive and super um, supportive. I don't know another word. Sorry. Uh, and so I'm I'm glad. I, I'm happy to have that support. I need that support. And honestly, everybody, not everybody, but most people I know are struggling right now. So I don't want to vent to them. So I'm glad that it doesn't offend you guys that I can vent to you guys. Um, like Sandy said on, on one of my videos, she's like, sometimes she forgets that she's talking to, you know, a bunch of people on YouTube rather than close personal friends that she knows in real life. And that's kind of what I forget sometimes. But yeah, so anyway, the focus now needs to be on weight loss. Um, sorry, my back, like I said, is not feeling great. So anyway. This week, I did well. If you uh, do not know, maybe you haven't been watching the daily videos. I know Sunday videos tend to get a little bit more views. Um, my uh, goals have changed, or at least my actual, not my goals, but my procedure has changed. Up until this point, I was always eating whatever I wanted to on Sundays. I would go, I'm sure most of the time over my dailies and my weeklies. And before you judge me too hard for that, the first time that I lost weight, when I lost that 140 pounds that I've mentioned a million times on this channel, I did it by doing that. I ate whatever I wanted to on Sundays. Also back then I went out Saturday nights almost every Saturday and I didn't track alcohol. So in my head, I could do that this time around. Granted, I don't go out, especially with pandemic going on. And when I do go out now, I do track alcohol. I changed that, but it's still, I treated Sunday like a cheat day. In my head, Sundays for me, since it's the day that I weigh in, can be a treat day, but that's what the weeklies are for. Not an excess 10,000 calories or whatever it was. So recapping last Sunday, you know, or do you know? Yeah, you know, because of the previous Sunday before that, I ate whatever I wanted to, and overnight I gained eight pounds. And then I spent the rest of that week getting that eight pounds off, and then, um, well, ultimately, oddly, I gained two gained two point two pounds right before, right on Sunday, even though I, you know, was going down and was below it. But anyway. This week I changed it. This week on Sunday, I stayed within my points and within my calories. I uh, actually had 20, 23 weeklies, weekly points left, or weekly bites. I'm doing eye track bites 
rather than Weight Watchers, and I'm doing the old Points Plus plan, which is carb conscious on Weight Watchers. Um, but anyway, so I had 23 weeklies left, and so that's probably the lowest I'd been on a Sunday this whole journey, this whole time. And so uh, on Monday when I weighed in, I was only up 0.2 pounds considering the week before I was up eight and probably most Sundays or most Mondays I would be up like eight or more. So I was only up 0.2 pounds and I proceeded to continually lose weight the rest of the week. So on my way in today, I am, I am 314 pounds. So that means since last Sunday, I lost three pounds. I'm so, I know I'm not expressing it, but I am so happy about that because holy cow, it's been a long time since I've had a big loss. I obviously realize now why, because of what I've been doing to my body on Sundays, but it's, it's a big relief to know that I figured out what I was doing wrong. And I'm not beating myself up over it. I'm not hating on myself for what I've done wrong. It's just a fact that I was doing it wrong. And so I am very, very happy to have this kind of loss. And now I can more easily have a battle plan for going in the future. Today, I'm gonna to try to repeat last Sunday. I'm going to stay within my weeklies and within my dailies. And I'm gonna continue on down this path. Now, as far as my dailies, and my calories each week. Um, the app recommends that I have 65 bites a day or points a day, or and also 26, 2,665 calories a day. This week I didn't really do that, except obviously I went over that on Sunday. I I stayed as far as points, as far as bites. I stayed between 53 and 63 bites. So my highest day was uh, when that was Friday. Um, I was two bites underneath the goal and my highest calorie day was 2,537, which is a little over 100 calories under the goal. So, but also on that day, that was Friday, when I stepped on the scale Saturday, I was up 0.6. So I don't really want to meet those goals. I am not officially setting myself up an exact point or an exact calorie goal. I am just going to make sure that I stay under what they are recommending. By they, I mean the app. The same as when I was on Weight Watchers, it's just I track bites. Um, I think at this point in the game, that's still a little too high for me. So, and also sometimes it's just hard, like doing the math to get exactly, oh, I have two points left. What are you going to do for two points? Like, I mean, you can do it, but it's obnoxious, uh, especially while you're trying to pay attention to calories. So I'm not setting a maximum goal or a minimum goal. I'm not setting an, an exact goal. Let's put it that way. I'm just making sure I stay over what they are, or stay under what they are recommending because that's what I did this week and that seemed to go over well. And like I said, the one day that I got close to my what they are recommending because like i said that was friday um i had 63 bites and well no actually the highest calorie day was thursday um but then when i stepped on the scale friday well i don't know that just threw my whole theory out the window because thursday was my highest calorie day and friday morning when i stepped on the scale was the biggest loss but, you know, our bodies fluctuate so much and there's so many other factors with sodium and sleep. My sleep's been crud this week. Like today, I, I, I could not sleep last night. My back kept me up half the night. I finally got to sleep and then guess what? I woke up again and couldn't get back to sleep. So there's a lot of factors. Either way, long story short, a little late for that, Robert. I am staying below the goals that they have given me and like, you know, being able to play around with that. And yeah, so we're going to continue that path. And I feel like I'm rambling and 
I feel like I might need a couple more um, ibuprofen. The muscle relaxers have helped a lot, but still my whole body does feel really, really stiff from tensing up because of the back pain. And I'm getting a little scattered brain because of it. So I'm gonna end this video here. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll talk to you tomorrow and see what I gain from today. <laughs>